the live grand final of Stars in Their Eyes. That's been the longest 75 minutes of everyone's life. It's been like a driving test, a trip to the dentist and getting your school report all rolled into one. It's been an unbelievable hour and a quarter. Has it been any easier in Oswestry, Sam? Matthew, it's been a bit like my labour, I think. Well, we've had so many calls, but so little time to tell you about it. In fact, we've had literally hundreds of thousands of calls. It's oh, been brilliant. wonderful. That's phenomenal. And I think that's a tribute to the quality of our finalists. The waiting backstage has been nail-bitingly tense, but it's not over yet, is it, Sam? No, not over yet. There's still time to call in. Fabulous, thanks. We'll be talking to you a bit later. Well, it's a nerve-wracking time for all, but someone who knows just what it feels like during those anxious minutes before the result is announced and the joy of winning is last year's winner, John Finch, who was, of course, a brilliant Marty Pello. Caught up in your wishing well Your hopes inside it Take your love and promises And make them last Won by an incredible margin and was, I know you agree, a very worthy winner. Please welcome back John Finch as Marty Pello. <laughs> Fantastic. Such a popular win. What's the, uh, what's the atmosphere like backstage now? The atmosphere is very relaxed, actually. Yeah. Really? Yes, yeah, fine. Yeah. How does it compare to what it was like then? Well, last year was very tense. <laughs> very tense. Was it? Yeah. How have things been back in the electronics factory? I never went back. <laughs> <laughs> you never went back into work? Never went well, back. Are they still expecting you? Well, I went visiting my old friends again, and I yeah. came back, came out of the place depressed, so... <laughs> oh, but were they, were they pleased for you? Oh, yeah. Have you yeah. had a good year since? I've had a very busy 12 months, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I got to meet the best band in the world. Wait, wait, wait. You met your hero? I certainly Marty did. Marty Pellet. Yeah, great guy. Splendid. Of course you did. I mean, I mean what's happening in the, for in the future for you? Well, I've got a single coming out soon. Um, yeah. The band's called Blue Orange, and uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. And they rang you up before the show? Yes, they did. I'll be uh, going to the GMX in Manchester on Tuesday, so I'm really mm. thrilled about that. Give them our love. Are you going to give I us a tune will. now? I certainly will, yeah. Fabulous. Well, you get yourself to the centre, sort yourself out, and I'll give you the big build up, right? Ladies and gentlemen with the biggest selling single of the 90s, Love Is All Around. Tonight, singing live once again, John Finch is Marty Pello. <laughs> It's 
someone beside you in everything I do. The vote for the Stars in Their Eyes winner, 1995, is now closed. <laughs> Let's not prolong the agony. There they are. It's been the longest 75 minutes of their lives and mine. Well, well done to all of them, and thanks to all of you for voting. Oh, I find this, this is really emotional, this bit. It's got to be done. OK. Here are the results of the 1995 series of Stars in Their Eyes. For finalist number one, Mariah Carey. She scored 42,374. <laughs> Next came Mark Owen at number two, and he scored a total of 75,231. <laughs> Let's see if Michael Stipe can do any better than that. He scored a total of 100,000. <laughs> Finalist number four was Bono. Let's hit, let's see what Bono got. He scored a grand total of 27,073. Lisa Stansfield came next at number five, and she scored 23,764. James Ingram was number six, and he scored a total of 61,994. I'll just I just want to pause there and tell you in the hour and a half we've been off the air. A record company has rung up and offered Obi a contract. <laughs> However, he didn't win. Michael Stipe is so far in the lead. Let's see if Randy Crawford can beat that. She scored a total of 54,958. Billy Joel came next and he scored 39,216. Now then, can Bobby Darren beat Michael Stipe? He has to beat over 100,000. He scored 177,750. And that means Bobby Darren is the winner of Stars in the Eyes 1995. Oh, well done. Well done. I mean, from from oh. nowhere. God. I can't believe it. God. And we all thought Michael Stab was there. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, are, are you all right? Are you, I'm fine. Are you, <laughs> right. OK. And yet you were ninth in the show. Ninth in the show. This has happened three years running. I can't believe it. Do you think this is perhaps a, a lucky spot? Must be. It must be. I, I don't I'm, care of one. I don't care. I'm so pleased. It was a fabulous, 
fabulous performance. It was a oh. real star performance, wouldn't you say? Yeah. yeah. And so, the series has come to an end, and at last you can all go out and do something else on a Saturday night. It only remains for me to say thank you to everybody involved in making the show, so thank you to everybody involved in making the show. No, I really mean that. And, of course, our thanks to Sam Norman and everyone down at Oswestry. Street. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. You know, behind the scenes here, there's a whole army of people who work all year round to make this show the success that it is, and my job that much easier. We'll be back in the new year with a brand new series. Now, the stage, the night, and the stars in their eyes, year, quite rightly, belong to Re Lee Griffiths as Bobby Darren. Good night. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Shark bait had such teeth, yeah, and it shows them pearly white. Just a jackknife has old Mac Heath, babe, and it keeps it uh, out of sight. You know, when that shark bites with its teeth, babe. Scarlet billows start to spread And say gloves though, uh, where's old Mac Heath there? So there's never, never a trace of red Now on the sidewalk, hot, hot, ooh, sunny morning uh, Lies a body just losing life Someone sneaking round the corner Could that someone be Mac the knife? Well, it's a tugboat top, hot, hot down by the river, don't you know? Well, I see me back, just a drooping on down Oh, that cement is just, it's there for the weight, yeah From Stars in the Rise and Granada. Have a fabulous summer. We will see you next year. This is the man, Bobby Darren, with his family. See you soon. celebration start right now for Lee Griffiths and the Stars in Their Eyes team. If you'd like the chance to take part next year, please call us on this number 0800 666 888. That's 0800 666 888. Good night. <laughs>